and welcome to Sword OK Reviews, where every fan is welcome. I'm Nathan Bedard, and I'm just by myself today, because, well, I used to do monthly haul videos on all the toys I collected for the month, but kind of got away from me, and plus I, I didn't really get too many, like, figures, and, like, not didn't really get any hot toys coming in, just mainly pops, so I decided to wait. I let a big, huge haul accumulate from pretty much... From the beginning of October till now, which is November, so it's pretty much a two-month haul, and I've accumulated quite a bit. So let's jump right into it. I'm not gonna go like completely like in order from date to when I got it. I'm just gonna show you what I got, and if there's a story to tell, I'll tell it to you. Which the first one there is. First one I got here is the Haunted Mansion ride, uh, Ezra on buggy. Uh, Shout out to K Fresh and Toys and Collectibles. I wasn't able, I have a Disney pass, but I wasn't able to make it up to Orlando for when this released. And out of all the Disney exclusives, I really wanted this one the most. I, the Haunted Mansion ride down here might be going pretty soon. And this is like a childhood memory. So thank you so much. Um, thank you so much for picking this up for me. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. Make sure you go follow him on Instagram. K Fresh Toys and Collectibles, great guy. He'll, he'll hook you up real nice. Make sure you follow him. But that's Ezra and Buggy. And then to get the big one out of the way, as everyone knows, uh, a couple a couple days ago, they Target released the 10 inch Pikachu. I missed out on the 6 inch Pikachu. I was there on the day he was supposed to drop. Um, our store didn't get it course and then the day that they did get it he wasn't I, I wasn't able to go there but they announced a 10 inch version so i was luckily able to purchase one he didn't sell out within like a couple minutes and i know that there's a big thing that's the tape was like super on there i'm gonna have to heat it up and try and get it and thanks target for the dented box always appreciate that that, that great shipping you know it wouldn't be Target without something being wrong, but I'm excited to finally have a 10-inch Pikachu. I'm glad I just got a Pikachu in general. It makes me more more happy to collect the Pokemon line. Hopefully that they do continue. There are leaks of, like, supposedly more Pokemon coming. So, got that big guy out of the way. Uh, we all know it was Black Friday a couple, couple days ago, too. Uh, I didn't go crazy. Um... I pretty much really only wanted the Max Pop that was in the Black Friday boxes. So I just bought one box to see if I could pick him up because he's selling for like, all the commons are selling for like super cheap on eBay. You can get them for like $9. So if you were really just wanting the common pop, I suggest go buy it on eBay through that. Don't spend $30 searching for it. But the one I did get was Megavolt. Um, I decided to definitely keep this one because... I like the Darkwing Duck series. It's good. Um, and he is a cool pop, so I definitely decided to keep him. I have Max coming in the mail. Uh, I wouldn't mind someday maybe purchasing the Chase. But I got that in the Black Friday box. And uh, this week I, I had hot, uh, hot Cash started like November 11th. Um, I had like, I think I had uh, 15, like two of them. Or I think I just used one of them. I'm not entirely sure, but first uh, pop I picked up with that was the Hot Topic exclusive Dustin in hockey gear. Uh, this pop is really cool when you take it out of the box. You can really see all the detail and stuff on it. But um, I'm going to collect the Stranger Things line. I, 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 ha I love that collection. It's going good. And then also I was so excited when they announced this line. Granted I haven't picked up all the pilots. I've just picked up this one which is the Hot Topic exclusive Shiro. Um, but the reason why I haven't picked up the resin because they're, they're going to come out with probably a lot of them. There's so many different variants they could do. So I'm going to probably wait on those. But I saw this and I like how he's the glowing arm like he does in the show. It's an amazing show. I highly suggest you watch it. So I got that one. And the last one I got with it was uh, I'm a huge One Piece fan. Of course, we do One Piece chapter reviews every week on this channel. Um, well, he's probably my second, if not first, favorite villain in the One Piece universe. And that is Doflamingo. I knew immediately when I saw this pop 
I had to have it. Uh, so I still need uh, Sanji, Robin, and Usopp, and I'll have all the Straw Hats. Um, but this is a cool pop. His his coat looks amazing. His the glasses. It's a really cool pop. I'm so glad I have this one. I hope they do more One Piece villains because we don't really have a lot of One Piece characters right now. Um, and it was, uh, of course, October. It, you know, Halloween. Some of these are in October. Uh, Halloween came up and Blizzard decided to release some Halloween themed Overwatch pops. And I just tried to collect the Overwatch pops of like the different skins. Uh, the cool variants and the first one I got was a box lunch exclusive which was Dr. Uh, Jameson Junkenstein <laughs> or Junkrat and he's, he's Dr. Jameson Junkenstein so there's the pop right there be careful because um, his box is pretty uh, you know hollow and he's pretty pointy so make sure uh, but there's that pop got that at box lunch and then their partner company, uh, Hot Topic, they decided to do the Roadhog. And this is probably, he's one of my favorite Overwatch characters. And that's one of my favorite skins, is the uh, the Frankenstein, the Junkenstein's monster. I really like that one. I got that at Hot Topic. I had, I, that was what I used my second Hot Cash on because he was like 26 I think retail and I think that's too much for a 14 inch pop that's just way too high um, so I decided to wait for hot cash he's still around he's not selling out anytime soon so don't worry don't rush don't pay the 26 to buy him and then the uh, the other overwatch pop I bought this one they released two on the blizzard store and I've never bought one from the blizzard store and they had the Cthulhu uh, skin for I cannot remember his name. Uh, Zenyatta. Zenta Zenyatta, I think. Uh, I decided to pass on that one. But the but this one, I, I immediately, when I saw it go up, I bought it. And that is the Mercy and her witch outfit. This one is so cool. This is it's such a cute like skin for her. And it's a really nice pop. And it's my first one from the uh, Blizzard store. So... That's always a nice uh, one to add to the collection. And then to end the Overwatch pops, I picked up this Best Buy exclusive, and it's also my first Best Buy exclusive. And this is Torbjorn, the little sweetest meatball. And this is in like his like rate, like when he power is like super, when he rages up and he just starts cranking out all his, all his machinery. Um, it's a cool pop. My only disappointment with it is, is it's not glow in the dark. I it would have been a perfect glow in the dark pop. Sadly, it was not glow in the dark. But what can you do? 